this, it brought a lot of things to mind. Thought about how many times the enemy had tried to take us out. It also reminded me of who God truly is and continues to be in our lives. He is, as he was in Moses' life, the I am that I am. Now listen to what God is saying to you. The word sustenance means help, support, comfort, physically, mental support. And so God is all these things to us. In Isaiah chapter 46, as it says, think about this. I am he who will sustain you. Isaiah 41, 10 tells us, and this is about strengthening you. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. And he will help you. Psalm 28, 7 says, Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusteth in him, and I am helped. Therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song will I praise him. In Psalm 124, 8, he will support us. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. And that's in Psalm 55, verse 22. And of course, he will comfort us. Who comfort us in all our tribulations, not some, all our tribulations, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble, by the comfort wherewith we ourselves were comforted of God. And that's 2 Corinthians 1, verse 4. Physically, and Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness, all manner of disease among the people in Matthew chapter 4, 23. So God physically, physically touches us at some point when needed. Mentally support us. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. In Ephesians 4 23. Do you see here how God is incomparable to no other? Why? because he has provided everything you need before you were born and even throughout the years of your life and into eternity. God has been and will continue to be your sustainer. Trust him only, the one true living God.